that stuff you keep spraying yourself with? It's a powerful sour insect repellent. I'm extremely allergic to bee stings. What happens? Well, I sort of swell up all over and then die. How do you know? How do I know what? That's what happens if you get stung. I mean, you're not dead. Oh, there's a juice of a flower which, if administered quickly, can save me. Fortunately, there was a druid nearby last time it happened. Do you think I could borrow that lace connection card? I hardly think you'd be welcome in such an establishment. Why not? Too butch for you? The clientele is generally very exclusive. You mean a bunch of 40-something guys in suits desperately trying to recapture their youthful libido by wearing silky panties and stockings? Rather a broad generalisation, but that's about the size of it. I've got to go. Hope you have no objection. Very amusing. It's just lucky for you bad jokes aren't illegal, or I'd nail your ass to the wall. Would you be liking some stew? I beg your pardon? Are you saying, would you be liking some special swamp stew? I was making it myself from all natural ingredients. Mr. Swampling, uh, dodging the issue is not going to make it go away. Now, you are committing an act of eco-terrorism against the corporation I represent. Swampy not want swamp turning into houses. Swampy wants swamp to be swamp forever. That may be so, Mr. Swampling, but times change and attitudes change. Nobody wants swampland anymore. People just don't go in for visits to smelly, slime-encrusted, alligator-filled wastelands with no amenities, services or attractions of any kind. Swamp is not like that. Swamp is a nice place for visits for all families. With all due respect, Mr. Swampling, you clearly have a mental problem of a significant and disturbing nature, and we, the Corporation, would be only too glad to fund any treatment program you so desire, if you will just assure us that our concerns are met. Swampling not mental? Swampling saner than a rabbit in me? I was just here to make sure nobody is doing nothing bad to Swamp. I have assured you previously that all the houses we intend to build will be perfectly matched to their natural environment of, um, other houses. Don't you be trying to push a quick one on Swamplin. I was being up all night, and you would be having to be up all the previous, uh, two nights to be getting the more best of me. I can see that you're a clever man, Mr. Swamp. Not man. Swampling. Swampling is swampling. What is why I'm being called swampling? My apologies, but surely you can see the offer of settlement I have here way exceeds the value of this fetid piece of miserable, filth-ridden, disgustingly awful scrap of land that you call home. Swampling not be needing monies. Swampy got a friend. Mr. Swampling, when you have money, you don't need friends. And if you do, the corporation can provide you with everything from casual acquaintances right up to soulmates and drinking buddies. Why, if this friend of yours was up to much, he'd be here right now, when you need his support the most. He will be coming here soon, but he doesn't have a body to come in right now. Oh, one of those friends. Oh, wait, I see him. There he is, standing right by me, and look! He's telling me he thinks you should sign this lovely contract. Yes, that's what he's saying. You'd better come over here and do it before he gets all cross with you. Swampy is thinking you need to take more sleep, Mr. Lawyer-type personing. You is starting to hallucinate. 
hallucinate. Hmm. You are seeing things what are not being there. And Mr. Swampling, I feel I should warn you that if you continue to resist the perfectly reasonable offer I am making you, I shall be forced to seek a more direct course of action to remove you. Mr. Swampling? Mr. Swampling! Yes? Mr. Swampling, did you hear what I just said? I'm sorry, I spilled stew in my ears. Hang on, I nearly got it. Are you going to take this meeting seriously? Have you got a bendy straw? I can have one put in the contract, if it'll make you happy. Oh, that's gotten it. What was it you were saying? Oh, how on earth did I get this stupid case? I could have stayed in the office and tackled a nice, healthy murder case or something. Never mind. You is getting out in a fresh, warm air. Mmm. Fresh? It smells worse than a fat skunk's bottom crack. Actually, that's a secret ingredient in world-famous stew. Don't tell nobody. Oh, this is pointless. I'm just going to have to wait for the hired goons to get here, and I wanted to have this all sewn up by tomorrow. Hey! Hey, wake up! I guess it's sleeping like a log. I'm not touching that. What's the matter, boy? Don't you believe in signs? What sign? Um, um, guess I never got round to putting one up. Oh, well, you know better now. You sure do. Mentalist. Maiden's fingers, most commonly used for the production of strong alcohol. Fairy's whisper. It says here it's needed for a popular bunion ointment. Blurt weed. Hmm. It's used for... Ugh. I don't think I should read that sort of thing.
This is the deadly fish herb. It says here, its fruit, when mashed up and administered orally, will provide relief from bee stings, but it only produces fruit when in direct sunlight. Virgin Surprise! Wow! This one's used for aromatherapy. Apparently it can stop you running out of bullets before noon. Eh? Ladies Delight. This herb is a vital ingredient in shaving cream, apparently. Hey, that's my house. So? If I could get up there, would be so much trouble. Don't worry, I won't take anything much. I well, you just see that you don't. Very handy thing to have, a mortar and pestle. Ah, you never know when you'll need a fire-hardened pointy stick. Hmm. Oh, ooh, what the hell did you go and do that for? Uh, out of spite? Oh, you ruined my bark. I spent years growing that bark and you've gone and ruined it. Sorry. No, you're not. Nobody ever is. Just because I'm a tree, they think I don't have feelings. Look, it was an accident, okay? You hit me with an axe by accident? Ooh, I wouldn't like to see you do something on purpose. Don't get your branches in a twist. I'm sure it'll grow back. You don't know much about trees, do you? A fact I pride myself on. I'm scarred for life. Oh, you've made me ugly, hideously, hideously ugly. I wouldn't have thought vanity was a real issue for a tree. Oh, how typical of a human to say something like that. If you cut me, do I not ooze sap? Just my luck. A melodramatic tree. 
No, oh, the pain, the pain of it all. I am so ugly, so hideous and grotesque. Accepting that it's probably a stupid question, how come you can talk? I got bored. Is that meant to be a joke? No, I was just standing here minding my own business. Photosynthesizing was pretty much all I had to worry about. That and woodworm, of course. A few thousand years later, I decided it was time to make a difference. I wanted to be a poet. So you just kind of grew a complete oral communication system. Oh, it took a few hundred years, but I got there in the end. Would you like to hear a poem? It's called The Root of All My Problems. I'd rather not. <clears throat> the root of all my problems, as you can plainly see, is finding enough water to keep sustaining me. That's terrible. There's more, lots, lots more. Uh, don't bother, really. At least now I've got some different subject matter. That of my foul disfigurement. I'm thinking of branching out into sonnets, actually. Hmm. Oh, woe is me. Me is a tree. I am so ugly, so very, very ugly. Come now. You're one of the most attractive trees I ever saw. Oh, really? Do you mean that? Lovely branches, healthy leaves, fantastic trunk. Except for that hideous hole, that is. Oh, oh, why must you mock me? Leave me be that I can wallow in my misery. Yes. Whatever you say. How's it going? Do you think I'm fat? What? Do you think I'm fat? You're a bloody tree! Oh, you do think I'm fat, don't you? That's why you're avoiding the question. Oh, it's so like you. Eh? In fact, why not chop me down? Yes, chop me down now. Oh, yes. Oh, I deserve to die. I'm so horrible to behold. It would be better if I were nothing more than smouldering logs on a fire. Or an ornate birdhouse of some kind. Oh, forget this. I'm going. Oh, that's it. Just walk away. Oh, it's not like I can follow you, is it? Get a grip. 